Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are cooking kitsune udon. Kitsune udon, a very loved Japanese dish. The start of this dish is the aburaage, which is the fried tofu, that sits atop the udon noodles. This sweet and savory fried tofu pairs wonderfully with the dashi flavored broth. The name kitsune, which means fox in Japanese, comes from the folklore that fried tofu is a favorite treat of foxes. So, let's start cooking! Pour boiling water over the aburage to remove excess oil. This step helps to eliminate any residual oil from the manufacturing process, reducing any unwanted odor and allowing it to absorb flavors more effectively. Once the oil is removed, cut the aburage in half. In a small pot, combine the seasoning ingredients for aburage. Add the aburage and heat over medium. Once it boils, turn it over and simmer on low heat for about 5 minutes to allow the flavor to infuse. Boil a generous amount of water in a pot and add the udon noodles, loosening them. Cook according to the package instructions. While the udon is boiling, prepare the soup in a separate pot. Combine the soup ingredients and heat over medium. Once it's boiled, turn off the heat. After cooking the udon for a specified time, drain the water. Serve the udon in a bowl, add the soup and the seasoned abrage on top. For an added touch, feel free to top with wakame, green onions or tempura flakes. The combination of the juicy abrage, brimming with dashi, and the chewy, firm udon noodle is simply delightful. Let's look over what we use today. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make kitsune udon. If you did, please give this video a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe for more delicious Japanese recipes. Feel free to share your thoughts or any question in the comments below. We love hearing from you and are eager to see how your kitsune udon turns out. Stay tuned for more tasty adventure. Until next time, happy cooking! Bye bye!